It's been blamed for helping lose June Jones to the SMU Mustangs. But how bad are the football facilities at UH and what's being done about it? We wanted to find out, so we took our cameras there. We wanted to see how Hawaii compares to other schools like their whack rival, Boise State. Last year, Hawaii beat Boise State 39-27, to but off the field, Boise State gets the W when it comes to facilities. To compare, this is one of Boise State's meeting rooms. This is a future Hawaii meeting room. Boise State weight room, Hawaii weight room. Boise State locker room, and this is a Hawaii locker room. The facilities? Man. Yeah, they bad. They pretty bad. A top 25 program on the field, but not off of it. This video was shot just last week. In the Hawaii locker room, missing ceiling tiles, broken soap dispensers, inoperable fire alarms, and tape holding together the sound system. And in the weight room, damaged Olympic weights, cracked upholstery on machines, and broken equipment like these weight belts. But slowly, the department is making progress, like upstairs in this new wing of the football offices. This room is going to be what, coach? What is this supposed to be? Well, there are going to be coaches' offices. And this is what it'll look like when completed sometime this year. The department is spending one to two million dollars on meeting rooms, new coaches' offices, state-of-the-art audiovisual facilities. These are all things that recruits use to make up their minds. Well, it is a matter of selling the program and recruiting, and and it, it's so important that when a kid comes in, he sees something that is class. It's something Boise State has already done, putting all their bowl money into building new and renovating older areas of its athletic complex. And I think everybody at Boise State understands that, that um, you know, we need to keep building and keep pushing. Hawaii expects to receive four to four and a half million dollars from its Sugar Bowl appearance. Athletic officials could not tell us how much of that money will go towards facilities, but back upstairs, it's hard to hide the excitement. When this is done, this is going to be pretty impressive for a recruit to come through. Huh? I, I think so. It'll help us so much in recruiting, you know, because kids go into other facilities uh, on the mainland and, and you know, guys have uh, great places to show them. And other Hawaii priorities, resurfacing Cook Field and developing a master plan for the entire athletic complex. I, I believe in our administration. Uh, or I wouldn't be here. It's good stuff. I'm really excited about it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, things have really changed at UH. A lot of things have changed, but i got to show you this before we go, just to give you an idea of how slow things kind of move up there. You see these green couches? Well, they're the first things a recruit sees when he visits the coach's offices on the third floor. Well, i got to tell you that these couches are the same couches that I used to sit on, and that was what I saw when I was recruited to play for the Rainbows back then in 1987, and that was... Some 21 years ago. Man. That was a long time ago. So maybe Green they couches. can add couches to the list of uh, refurbishments. It'd you know? be nice. At it least recover them. At least recover them. <laughs> <Whatever. right. laughs>